Hi everyone, so this tutorial, if you can't tell, is going to be on Trixie Mattel. You've seen this look in my review that I posted on Wednesday. If you want to learn how to do it, stay tuned for this makeup tutorial. I'm doing it in a different style, so let me know if you like the way this goes. And yeah, stay tuned for the video. Okay, if you can't already tell, this is going to be a very different tutorial. Um, I already started, kind of. I just wanted to draw... I st okay, well, I covered my eyebrows, first of all, and I drew white with the NYX Gen Buy Shadow Pencil and Milk, and I drew the basis for the wing liner and the white underneath. I did that with Milk, you know, the Gen Buy Shadow Pencil, and I covered it with Sugar Pill Taco, so I kind of blended those out, and I already drew this line, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go do it on the other eye, and I'll show you. I'll, I'll fill it in, too, so I'm going to do that and fill it in, and I'll come back in a second, and we'll see how this is going. Okay, so now that we've done that, I have filled the lines in and I covered it with uh, Sephora's black eyeshadow that they have. And I kind of blended out this bottom line. It kind of looked like Fiber Girl 666 back in the day. But, okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this giant crease. Okay, so our eyeliner kind of reaches to her brow. And so the brow is going to be right above where this white line is, if you can't tell already. I'm going off this picture, by the way, so if that will focus on it, that's what I'm going for. Y you get this. Okay, so I'm going to draw... Actually, I'm going to fill in, like, the part where I want the, uh, like, lid to be. And I'm going to use Sugar Pills, uh, kind of Mochi, I believe. It's, like, this light blue color. It's this one. And it's so pretty, and that's what she totally is wearing. There's no, like, question about it. That's probably what she is wearing in the picture so let me find a brush to fill it in with and we will do that jazz um i don't know what i want to use see this is the problem when you have a lot of brushes and you don't know which one you want to use if oh here we go i'm gonna use a pencil brush so i can get like precision plus it already has the color on it so we like kind of scored so i'm going to this is different because i usually am zoomed in for tutorials so i'm coming close to you um yeah, let me just interpret my own idea of where this crease is. I'm trying to... I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in a bit. Ugh. I know, super scary. Okay. See that little dot? Okay, so I'm kind of just trying to interpret... I know I got it onto the black part where we can go over it. I don't give a shit. So we're just gonna, you know, put some of the shadow here. Because that's what it's good for. And I think she probably used a white base here. And, you know, we're too late now. And I just dropped something. And this is bugging me already. So I'm just going to cover it as I go. <laughs> but I think that's kind of like the idea of where it is. She has a lot of space here and not a lot on the lid. Even though she's going like this and you can see all of it. So let me just keep going in and filling this part. I'm going to bring it a little higher. And I had it right there. Sounds good. And fill this magic in. And there's also white. Oh, my phone closed. God damn it. There's also white in this part. So I'm going to draw to like here and then get the white in there. So it helps to kind of look down on what you're doing. See? You feel me? It's also impossible not to cover your eyebrows for this shit because it's ridiculous, you guys. I kind of love it. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done with makeup. Actually, no. I've been covered in blood before. I lied. But, you know, this is the most out there thing I've replicated in my life. And I love it. And, you know, I'm just going to go in with that white sugar pill, you know, taco, taco. Still don't know which one it is. Figuring that one out someday. And, yeah. See what I did there? We're getting somewhere. It's kind of scary how much this is going. Okay. Need to fix this line over here. I don't know, I think that's, I think that's about it. I think my eyeliner is kind of like, it should be more straight. So I'm going to fix that and do the other eye over here and I'll come back again. 
filled in the parts. I made the line straighter on the wing and I took the same liner, the Kat Von D liner, and I drew like a little kind of half circle, quarter circle above the shape. So it kind of comes out from here. So I'm going to finish that little circle with the liner. I just kind of wanted to start it. I have more trouble doing that part of it on camera than the end. You feel? You feel. Because I have to rest my elbow. And that's hard to do on camera. So, yeah, I just kind of fixed the half circles. They are even. I don't know why my camera's kind of crooked today, but whatever. So, actually, I'm going to start, you know, light to dark like I usually do. I, last time I did dark to light, which was kind of weird for me, and I didn't like it. So, I'm going to take, um, I believe it's Fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I know, weird thing, but I'm going to use it as eyeshadow. I actually really love it as an eyeshadow. So, I'm just going to blend upon right here and kind of place the color there I don't know if you can see what I'm doing but I'm screwing with it and you can see some of my brown hairs so sorry about it I don't like it that's gonna be black in a second and yo so just blending this color you know above this part and in basically into my eyebrow um yeah that's the basis of this part so I'm gonna do this at okay then after that I'm going to add black you know right here and just kind of blend those together so I'm gonna do that and come back I don't like to do this thing on camera anymore it's getting kind of boring and I just want you to know what I'm doing you don't need to watch me do it for 10 minutes I think that's a problem Okay, so I don't know why it's showing up shiny. I think it's because of my brow cover, but this is it blended out. I'm gonna have to like put some shade over. And I drew an eyebrow on just with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. And yeah, I just used an angled brush and drew a brow on. So see, it looks good. I don't know why it's shiny. I think it's because of the bluish light that I have on it. But I'm gonna draw another eyebrow on and I'll come back with some lashes on. Now we're gonna put um, some big ones on top. And some kind of smaller-ish ones down here. And you'll see the face. And then we'll do the iconic lips. You know, fish and lips. You gotta have it all. So I'll be right back. So this is the completed eye makeup. Um, I don't know why it looks so shiny. It's really annoying. But, like, this is it. Like, the eyes are so big. Okay, so now we're going to take a lip liner. If I can find it on this desk full of brushes. Um, but it's a NYX lip liner. Whoa, I'm getting close. And, oh, it's right here. And we're going to draw some huge ass lips. And they pretty much come up to here. So, bear with me while I try and draw up here. Yep. Getting scary. I think this is this is an eyeliner actually it's from Sephora it's waterproof and I don't know what color it's in but it's pink and it has some sparkle in it but once you put it around here you can't really tell at least I think you can't really tell I'm just kind of making it look a little happy the edges these are so big <laughs> okay now that we have the outline we're going to have to fill it in with the color um what color do I have on my desk okay that's not what we're going to use um let me find a color I'll be right back so we're going to fill this in with sugar, not sugar pearl, MAC Please Me. It's like kind of pale, but I couldn't find Angel from MAC, which would be perfect. Or, um, it's a really light pink. Ah, oh, what is it called? I think it's St. Germain, but that would have been perfect, but we're going to go with Please Me. So, let's please ourselves by filling in these giant lips. Oh, oh my god.
Whoa. Okay, wow. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's make sure they're even though. Don't you hate when you draw on lips and they're like lopsided? I think that's like the worst thing ever. <sighs> These look so ridiculous. Okay, I think I think that's it. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm just gonna fix Fallout and uh, put some. Oh! Blush, you guys. So, we're gonna take, you know, my stippling brush, you know, that I always use, and we're gonna take Totsy Totsy. And we're gonna blend that into our contour because her blush comes all the way out here. And it's almost in like a, a Nike swoosh shape. So, let's freaking do that. Nike swoosh shape. Descriptive, am I right? Okay, I'm just going to um, take my powder puff that I just put on powder with. And I'm going to... Well, I'm not doing that face in this look. I'm just going to powder some stuff. And make sure this looks swooshy. Swooshy? I don't know. Just going to fine tune some stuff and powder my face and yeah when I was talking about my lip liner not being uneven it kind of is so we're gonna just fix that because we don't want to look a mess you know like we want to look like a clown but we don't want to look like a messy clown I don't like messy queens I don't like funny queens I don't like dairy queens Shout out to Gia Gunn for being awful. She would hate Trixie. All I have to say. Okay. This is it. Okay, I almost forgot to say this, but my lashes on top are Sugar Pill Flutter. I still don't like that. See? It looks better in the shadows. I swear to God. Um, they are Sugar Pill Talk. Not Taco Flutter. They're my favorite and the bottom ones I think are just like 99 cent store lashes they're super like thin and I they look good on the bottom all right so that concludes our Trixie Mattel look um I really hope you like this because this is the weirdest thing I've ever done and so yeah stay tuned for more I think I'm gonna do another drag look next week so let me know who you want to see and if you say Violet I'm gonna be very disappointed because I think her look is very boring that was a statement that is out there fish and lips man fish and lips all right peace out thank you for watching oh Oh my god, not even. So make sure you like this video because I want to know if you like this fish and lips look. Make sure uh, you comment on this video and tell me how ridiculous I look. Yeah, I know. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to watch my reviews, which go up every Wednesday. And oh yes, follow me on all of my social media. They are down in that makeup box. I like that term. And yeah, so... You want to look like a Barbie, you're just Trixie Mattel. You've learned. Peace out.